and welcome to our weekly examination of action on film. And this week we arrive in 1980 with Steve McQueen in his last film, The Hunter. An everyday story of a bounty hunter who's trying to come to terms with the modern world and his fears about becoming a father. It's set alongside him going out and working, collecting criminals and bringing them back to justice. Stunt coordinator is uh, Gary Combs, who some of you may recognise as the double for Harrison Ford in Blade Runner, and he is doubled by the man who held that position for over 20 years, that stuntman Lauren Janes. So, let's start with him bringing one of these felons back, shall we? So what we're about to see here is um, Lauren Janes really just been thrown about like a rag doll by the actor Carl Schumerman who plays Billy Joe crashing in through the door here um, this is one of the scariest moments he recognises him and then goes oh, and just, just misses him under the door picks him up, throws him about throws him about and in between oh, oh struth I mean he really is getting the works here but the editing's terrific It's very look there's a shot of McQueen um, Gets a clatter in the old balls there. And out comes the girlfriend. And he's egging your man on. Uh, and in the meantime... Oh, look, the kitchen's falling apart. I mean, oh, dear. Uh, and then gets thrown out. Uh, which, actually, being thrown out, saves... Oh, that, if that had a landed, that would have been serious trouble. Out he goes. Oh. And then he remembers where he's put his stun gun. And all of a sudden, there is calm in the household. And good night, Vienna. Hey, that ain't fair. You pudhead. Billy Joe, Billy Joe, wake up, Billy Joe. Wake up, Billy Joe. Wake so, Billy Joe has been subdued, but the Branch brothers are next on his list, and to get them, he must take the red eye and hire a car. And as we'll see here, it's not a textbook arrest. So here we have a uh, stick of dynamite coming over, and whoa, big explosion. That's uh, Lauren James, of course, doubling Steve. He's always wondered how he how he managed to get that high from such an explosion. We'll find out here in just a moment. When he look, he's up to his knees in grass. Below that level is a little trampette. He jumps down. He bounces up. Bang, the explosion goes. Look at the height he gets. It's fantastic. Landing in the grass there. Yes, his coat is open when he lands. It isn't open when he jumps. I'm aware of this. This is not uh, the first time it's been mentioned. Um, but Steve wasn't able to do it. You know, the poor bugger was uh, suffering with, uh, with cancer at the time. This is the Branch Brothers, uh, the Trans Am, which, of course, in the film actually... Steve McQueen arrives in because it's a hire car, being driven by uh, stuntman Bobby Bass and Ray Bickle. They're playing the Branch Brothers, and they go careering across a cornfield. Well, how do you chase a Trans Am in a cornfield? Well, you've got to do some thinking. You know, it's uh, that's what you've got to do. Uh, it must have been extraordinary fun to do it. Gary Combs always said it was a. It was a, a the stunt coordinator on the picture so it was a fabulous thing to watch um, well you drive a combine harvester is what you do why Steve had never driven one so he had an opportunity to do so and uh, there are a couple of close moments here where the two of them um, Bobby is driving the Trans Am and has to kind of cut across and cut in front of the combine and he leaves it really late there are moments where it's really late um, Steve, of course, actually driving the, the, the combine here. He was given that to do. And uh, the two of them having some great fun across here. But, of course, you know, you have to be very careful with this situation. Steve, of course, even though physically looking here as though he's in great shape, wasn't in the best of health um, and uh, was able to do as much as he was able to do. Lauren Janes would help him. But uh, stuff like this, I mean, he lived to drive. Everybody knows, so you've probably seen the... Uh, the stories of the documentaries about Steve and his uh, his love of motorsport, Le Mans, uh, and of course uh, the driving on bullet, uh, 
uh, getaway, stuff like that. You know, he, he was the happiest behind the wheel. So when you look at that, I mean, that, oh, that's really close. Right on top of me is there. But from a cinematic perspective, there's only so much you can do in this sort of instance. Look, they started throwing sticks of dynamite about all over the place. And um, did that one go off? I saw smoke there. I guess that's gone off from there. They've uh, at least... <laughs> Keeps looking out to find out where they are. They're behind you. Um, so the two of them then start careering off and cutting around in front. And again, look, just inches away. You wouldn't want to be in that situation, would you? You want to be. You wouldn't want to be chased by a combine harvester. Anyway, they decide they're going to get out of here. I think uh, with the aid of <laughs> dynamite being thrown everywhere. Ba boom! Hey, there we go. And uh, these are big bangs as well. There's, there's fragments still in the air there, look, you know. Anyway, they decide I think they're going to get out uh, once uh, Steve has had his, uh, had his fun. One well, these, uh, uh, filming this, um, Bobby Bass uh, was ruined of saying that uh, it was one of, one of his most fun experiences. There is a car crash at the end here, um, which had to be done separately. So the car slides out. And there's a stick of dynamite thrown on the floor, and they think, right, we're away, we're plain sailing, he's not going to get us now. Only to be confronted, of course, by that uh, combine harvester as it comes out the other way, causing them to brake sharply and then reverse, and then be concerned, of course, about the dynamite that is in the road. Now, there was talk Bobby wanted to do this himself, but it was thought much simpler just to have it towed out, bang, and then have it set off like that. That's some explosion. You wouldn't want to be in that when it goes off. And uh, that really does disintegrate, doesn't it? Poor. And finally, the major sequence in the movie, Steve McQueen goes to Chicago of a guy called Bernardo is played by stuntman Tommy Rosalos and it's an incredible sequence and Lauren Jane's stunt work is quite simply breathtaking. If you're a director you need an actor with one of those faces you know the look I mean lived in with experience then you need look no further than Tommy Rosales a stuntman actor who's died in more movies than you and me have had hot dinners perfect casting for this movie. Brought in by stunt coordinator Gary Combs, not only as a stuntman but as safety for Lauren Janes during that amazing train sequence. Here's Tommy talking with stuntman Steve Hart about his time on the film. What was the first scene you were doing? It was in the train, holding up the, 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 the train track. Uh, what do they call that? Sub oh, the L or whatever? Yeah, the, 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 the elevated L railroad? Yeah, that was. Oh, and you had yeah. the girl, you had the girl. I got the girl in the hand, the gun, and shooting, and the whole thing. And But the night before, the director calls me up, and he says, uh, now, Steve, you're still, you're still my my co-star. No, nothing's going to change that. But we just, the problem is, when we, it's the first day of shoot, McQueen has an, uh, he's, he's known to approve things, and little by little want to get his foot in the directing and so whatever but he says no matter what I'm gonna there's gonna be no changes just don't you don't you worry you're still my little star so I'm thinking now going to work that morning after saying that of course I'm worried <laughs> as hell because I just oh, now I got work with McQueen I don't know how how long I'll be on that show you know, I haven't performed, performed or anything so I got to do my first scene with the little girl holding up the train. I got through that whole scene and everything and I look over and there's McQueen watching watching me perform and he's right next to the camera and of course when they cut, then I got the old, he gave me the, the sign, you know. I thought, well, I'm in then. You know, so. How long did it take you guys to shoot that chase scene? Because that was an iconic chase scene. It probably one of the longest uh, foot chases. It went on and on and on, probably two weeks. Uh, it was just, and they cut a lot of it out too. And didn't you sprain your ankle? It nice. I'd sprung, no, I'd sprung my ankle uh, on the show before. <laughs> so kind of, and all that running, I didn't know how to do all that running, but I had some boxing shoes and and wrapped the old ankles up really good and stuff, and I got through it, you know. How was McQueen to work with? He was great, yeah, he was really great. 
great. Quiet, you know, but... And that was his last movie. That was his last movie, yeah. Wow. And, uh, wow. Because you worked with Lauren James, oh, who yes. doubled McQueen all McQueen. the time, right? Yes, and, yes. And, and Lauren James, legend. So you're doing the you, you do the foot chase through the whole thing, and you're doing the uh, down the side of the building, and do this, and through the neighborhoods, and and over the fences, and all that stuff. But when you're inside the train, Lauren James is on the outside of the train, oh, swinging yeah. out, right? Yeah, he, uh, he he wouldn't be he didn't want to be cabled off. He wanted to be free-handed, and uh, at the time, so I was doing safety. So I'm on the radio, and I gotta let him out in time so he's dangling out there this thing this thing on top of the train if you haven't seen hunter it's a it it's part of the train like i guess a, it's like a ladder or yeah, something like a, and it swings out swings out and then and then mcqueen is supposed to be dangling from it and it's, it's and it's out there a good 10 12 feet and the trains go and it's over flying chicago. yeah it's, it's going through chicago and i'm i'm ducked down so they don't see me because they got cameras also in, in some some of the buildings we got go by through and stuff so and i I'd, I'd get the word to bring him in when there was a, a bridge or something he had to get clear <laughs> so when i'd sure get to... that word you know it was just bring him in bring him in bring him in and then bring him up up to it would slide up onto the top and then he'd duck and we'd go under a tunnel or wherever obstacle and then i'd get the word out to let him back out and i'd let him back out so i can continue that 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 scene you know lauren james was an american stuntman notable for his work in hollywood films particularly those starring steve mcqueen including bullet nevada smith and the hunter he also co-founded the stuntman's association of motion pictures in 1961 and in 1956 was the first civilian to enter the United States Olympic Trials for pentathlon. He also competed in 1964. He was a member of the Hollywood Stuntman's Hall of Fame and died June 24th, 2017, at the age of 85. That's it for this week. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, shout it from the rooftops if you have to. More next week when we visit Charles Bronson territory and one of my favourites of his, Death Wish 2. And you don't want to miss that. So until then, bye for now.